ever wondered if buying keyword rich domains is the secret to unlocking huge growth for your law firm? Let's find out. In this episode, we're going to cover the effectiveness of buying keyword rich domains for your law firm website. Many lawyers are addicted to buying keyword rich domains, but they don't often fully understand how to utilize them, what the benefits, what the drawbacks are with this practice. We're going to explore when this strategy is effective, when it's not, and give you a better insight as to what SEO strategies actually move the needle so that you can focus on what works. Welcome to another episode of the Optimized Law Firm Podcast. My name is Patrick Carver. I'm the CEO of Constellation Marketing. This podcast is all about helping you run a more profitable and enjoyable law firm. So try to make this very actionable and give you good tips that will hopefully help you in your quest to understand marketing, how it can impact the growth of your business, and ultimately do what we all want, which is generate more profits. Did you know that buying a keyword rich domain is not a guaranteed ticket to SEO success? Let's talk a little bit about what this practice is. So uh, if you're an attorney and you have a pulse, you've probably done this at some point in your practice. And what I'm talking about is buying these keyword rich domains. So uh, think if you are a family lawyer in Tuscaloosa, you're going to buy a domain like family lawyer, Tuscaloosa, uh, divorce lawyer, Tuscaloosa, stuff like that. And then what I also see commonly or when folks come to me uh, is that they say, hey, I've got this whole you know, arsenal of, of domains that I've purchased over the years. I've purchased familylawyertuscaloosa.com, .org, .net. Let's you know, use them, right? Use them so you can uh, get some SEO success. And the, the truth is that these alone do not, it's not some sort of magic pill or silver bullet that will help you get success uh, with SEO. The, the idea of this kind of goes back to uh, Google's algorithm where they are looking for signals, right? So every part of your website is going to give a signal. And one of those that uh, does carry a certain amount of weight is going to be what you have in your URL. So if you are attempting to rank for a certain type of keyword, you want to be known for something in particular, Putting what you do in very plain terms or keyword terms is uh, can be beneficial. Um, so if you if you do in fact own Family Lawyer Tuscaloosa, that that can be a benefit. Now that is different than a branded domain where you are going to use your your own branding, so you know, SmithLawFirm.com, something like that. And so this whole practice got started a long time ago where. Um, you know, it was the, the SEO is not as developed uh, as it used to be, or excuse me, it was it was much less developed than it was in the the old days as it is today. And so, some of these little signals uh, could really drive outsized uh, r results for people doing doing the practice right. And so, at some point, you've probably heard that uh, SEO is all about stuffing the right keywords in. Uh, in your page. And, you know, there used to be an, uh, an, a hack for this where uh, people would throw in hundreds of iterations of the word, the keyword that they were going for, but do it in white. So it, they couldn't really be seen on the page. And, um, and so for a while, stuff like that worked, right? These little hacks where, you know, they figured out kind of how Google's signal was, uh, what they were prioritizing. And so they'd throw these little hacks out there and it would work for a little while until Google figured it out and then they would, you know, clap it down. And so this kind of has the feel uh, of one of those hacks, but it's, it's a little bit different. Um, it's in, in current relevance or current times, this can still actually pack a punch, right? It, it can be beneficial, um, but there are some caveats. And so, um, we're going to go into that in the in the next uh, in the next piece, but there are you know examples of this working and not working. So let's let's get into that and and break some of these down. If you think a keyword rich domain alone will put you at the top of Google, think again. 